What up guys, Disney Chubbs back at it again and what are we doing today? The Tropical Hideaway! Yeah! Tropical Hideaway. The Tropical Hideaway looks so cool. So I want our um, backyard to look like this. What's that? I'm just kidding. I said, so I want our backyard to look like this. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But this isn't food. It's not food. This isn't food. It just says, welcome, so you know where you're at. Like us. Like we just came from the Tiki Room. And there's like a cool, short little shortcut, I guess. Yeah. But I like coming in from the main way. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. And then, they have these. These are the bowels. But aren't they called a different name? Like in the... Like in the, in the in the country, like Shashupao. Yeah, Shupao. Shupao, and then they have a vegetable. I, I don't know which one. Oh, okay, I think this one's a vegetable one, and then one's a chicken one. And then one's beef. Right? And one's beef. So I think the vegetable one's vegan. Yeah, we're gonna try one of each anyways. I could be wrong about that. And then they have the lumpia, but I think it's like a sweet one, and then that's supposedly pineapple sauce. Oh, I look forward to that one. And then they have and that's fish. The, the fish, the they have the salmon <laughs> um, with a little bit of hint of lemon on yeah. some lemongrass, on a bed of lemongrass. Not. Just kidding. All right, so you can get here the pineapple, orange, and raspberry dough whips. Here are your floats and then some little whips. And there's a little whip. Hey, how come I didn't get a gong? I didn't get a gong this time. All right, guys. So we're here. We're at here the at the Tropical Hideaway. There you go. At the Tropical Hideaway. And we wanted to try the new Dole Whips. We've, we've been had, dying. We've had dying the Dole down. Whip, and we've had the Dole Whip float. We haven't had Dole Whip with rum yet. We have to try that. Right. Um, but that's at the hotel. Um, but tell them what you got. Okay. So I got the PS the PS de Resistance, the loaded Dole Whip. Yeah. It's got. Orange it's pieces in it, hibiscus, um, I'm coconut. Sure Do any of you know what sticks. kind of tree chickens live in? A what kind of trees? Tree. Oh, that's a funny one. But um, um, and we wanted to sit here because they have um one of the birds from the chicken room, Rosita. Rosita. She done flown over here, yeah. and now she's right here at the shop of the hideaway. Yeah, and we also got we got one of each of the boughs. Yeah. The beef. I, guess I guess it's called, but before we get started, it's called the trio. Right. So it's like each of one of each. So like when you go to check out, make sure you say the trio. Because if you just say, I got three of whatever, they'll charge you for just the beef one. And those are more expensive. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, just a little tip. Just a little side bit. And right then we there. also got this. He ordered this first, and then he realized that he forgot to get the loaded one. I wanted the gun. This is You guys new. saw the gun. Um, I, I did the gun. <laughs> They um, have this already at Walt Disney World, but yes. this is new to Disneyland. And this is the half dole, excuse me, the half dole whip, that's just regular pineapple, and then half raspberry. Nice. And then... Well, mind you, they say that this one is better than the orange one, orange pineapple. We're going to try it out because I got the orange pineapple and the loaded. Yeah. So we'll see what it is. And also, Did with that the monkey with the missing tail ever get to the bazaar? He said he was looking for the retailer. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, this They're you almost get... as good as the jokes on the Jungle Cruise. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Sarcasm. Um, then you get one sauce per trio. So if you want extra, make sure that you tell them and then you'll get charged for it. And then we also have this pineapple lovely sauce right here with this cream cheese 
filled lumpia and it has like sugar granules on the outside. We'll show you in a minute. But that's basically what we got. So what do you want to start with first? The bounce. All right. Okay, so I believe, do you want to start from vegetable up or heaviest meat to vegetable? It doesn't matter to me. I say let's start with the vegetable up because I have a funny feeling that the beef bulgogi one we're going to love. Okay, so this one right here is the vegetable one. And it has no like anything on top, it's just plain. Oh. So. Fun fact. Yeah. Does it have anything on it? I got a knife. There you go. All right, the moment of truth. It smells good. Ooh, it smells good. It's like, it almost smells like curry. It almost smells like curry. So it looks like there's like carrots, sure. peas. Mm. I like it. It is curry. I don't like it. It's curry. It's okay, a curry like vegetable. It. It's pretty good. I love curry chicken. She hates curry, but it's not a strong curry. So, so if you don't like too spicy, uh, like of a spice, kind of full flavored, then this is good. But if you don't like curry at all, don't eat it. Okay. <laughs> but I like curry, so this is pretty good. You know. I was expecting more of like a vegetable pot pie. It's Asian food. Nope, that's a no. Alright. That's a no for her. So probably a zero. But the bow itself, like the actual steamed bow on the outside is bomb. The bow is really good. I, I was a little iffy. Vegetables are nice. You know but, what? Yeah. Part of this bow, vegetable bow. I give it a solid three. It's good. You know what though? I'm loving this. They have to stop oh serving my God. elegance here at the Tropical Highway. Elegance? They always had such enormous bills. Oh, that one was funny. I love the ambiance here. So, you give it a zero? No, out no? of a, out of a out of a one to five, five being the best, one being whatever. I give it a three. A three? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's a, a good option for someone who doesn't like meat. Okay. Well, there you have it. She and the vegetables like are actually really good inside. And the vegetables are good. It's got a nice flavor. I like curry, so it's good. It's just a funky flavor for I me. give it a three. Hands down, it's a good three. Okay. It's the not next a bad one three. we have here is a chicken one. And it has like this yellow. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. Let me make sure you guys. That one's the red one. Yeah. Okay. This one's the chicken one. And it has like this like yellow seasoning on top. You can't. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. But it has like yellow seasoning on top. That's how you know it's chicken. There we go. Focus. Okay. As I said, I don't think it's gonna pick it up because we're like now it's like really dark. Okay. Yeah, it's nighttime right now, so let's cut it open. Have these, have these, and twinsies. Okay, it looks really good on the inside. It smells good. Actually, it smells like my grandma's cooking. <laughs> it's tender. Okay. Oh, it smells really look good. At all these people. I wonder what happened to Jose. Smells nice. I don't like it. Mm. There's a lot of lemongrass in mm -hmm. here. This is all me right here, guys. Oh, no. Nope. She did not like it. Take I'm a, about take to drink a, some water. Take a spoon. This is good. It's got lemongrass. Definitely got a lot of lemongrass in it. Lemon zest on it as well. It's pretty good. Oh. What? What? She moved ahead. Oh, good. Not bad. Once again, it's not fantastic. It's good. So I gave it a solid three again. Out of a one being horrible, a five being good, I'd rather eat the vegetable one than the chicken one. Wow. Yeah, that's a two. For me. The next is the beef bulgogi one. We haven't even tried it with the sauces yet. I know. Well, you're going to have mine half. I'm going to try mine now. You know what? I'll do that right now while she's cutting it. Okay, so this one is the one that everybody raves about. 
everyone says is the best. Everyone really likes. I've heard nothing but great things about these. And this is the beef bulgogi one. That's what it looks on the inside. Looks like there's a lot of meat in there, seasoning. Ooh. It smells really good. That's some bomb sauce, guys. But it's got a kick. You guys, it smells good. It's got so a good. nice kick. Here we go. So good. This is the one. Oh my god. side note. The sauce that they give you with the, the, the trio is really good. It's got a kick to it though. It like really heats up really quickly. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna this try is this so one out good. The bulgogi smells really good. Once again, the bao, the bread part, is very nice. It's not too dry. Mm. 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 All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, and you guys, just to let you know, they do not have fountain drinks here. Did you hear about the tiger that got into the shipment of lemons? He turned into a real sourpuss. Ah, uh, that one was funny. That was terrible. I thought that was funny. Terrible. Bomb. Very good. Out of all of them? Yep. This is the best one. That's the winner. I like okay. it. Are you ready for the lumpia? One in one? Mm. Okay, so when I open this little bag, it smells like churro bites. There's cinnamon. Definitely cinnamon. Mm. Wanna get the sauce? I wanna try it with this. I wanna try one bite without and then one bite with. What do you think? Let's try it. Okay. Oh, and um, FYI, guys, no annual discount there. No yeah, no AP here. Because they're considered snacks, not meals. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah, you go. You dip it first. When I dip, you dip, you dip. That's mm. pretty good. Messy. It's very messy. But it's very good. Mm. It's like a I'm traditional. Like, I have a riddle for you all. What is black, white, and red all over? A sunburned zebra. That one was bad. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a traditional Chinese treat. Like it's like uh, you see these a lot in like the buffets. Yeah. You know, it's got the powdered sugar and it, it's sort of like it's like a donut almost. But no, this but is a little flaky crust. Right now, what's really like popular in like the buffets and stuff is the cream cheese wonton. Oh, that's right. So that's with sauce. Mm -hmm. It's like a pineapple glaze. I don't know what I like more. I want a jar of this pineapple glaze to put on other stuff. Yeah, not with this. But with this, I don't know. Let me try it again. Something's offsetting with it. Right? Like that would taste good on other stuff. There's something mm. like... It reminds me of... Um, a pineapple jelly donut. Mm -hmm. No, it reminds me of the pineapple smucker stuff that goes on top of the ice cream. You know what I'm talking about, right? It goes like it, it comes in a jar. No, I don't know what that is. That's like a topping. <gasps> no, there's bees yelling. I don't know. I just don't like it with this per se. That by itself is it's enough. Amazing it's amazing by itself. That's pretty good. Mm. Okay, so I like it by itself. you gave the uh, five or four to the bulgogi bao. A four. A four. This is not really traditional. Yeah. I mean, it's not a traditional ones. bao. I kind of, I kind of was w w wanting the pork, the traditional pork bao. Yeah. The the, the, the sweet, the sweet pork bao. Kind of missing that. Yeah. Um, as far as the flavoring, but it's good. I give it a four. It's good for Disneyland. Solid four. Nice. The chicken, three. The vegetable, three. With the sauce that's got fire in it, 
Uh, it bumps it up maybe like a three and a half. I'm gonna have to say a four for the bulgogi for me. Uh, which a two or a one for the chicken. I did not like it. And for the vegetable, a two or three. I'd have to say a three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it to a three. And the lupia? Um, by itself, I love them. I'm saying a four or five. With the sauce, I don't like it. Uh, I'll give it a four. But I like the sauce have by itself. Have you wondered why elephants are so wrinkled? I suppose it's because they're hard to iron. That one was even worse. She's okay. losing. She's losing material, guys. She's losing material. This is what we came for. This is what we came to do. Now we got this one and the Leaning Tower of. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Dolza. All right, here we go. Let me get a good scoop of everything. I love it. Mm. It reminds mm. me of a bomb sherbet. That's good. Oh, the raspberry is so good. Mm. Yeah. That's a yes for me. But I don't like it more than an individual Dole Whip. I'm not gonna lie. You don't like whip, it more than the regular Dole Whip? A Dole Whip is my go-to and my favorite. I'm gonna say this one's my favorite right below it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try this one out. I'm, I'm gonna try to get to try everything in it. To be Orange, got some pineapple, coconut. Coconut shavings. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, the back of that last boat looked really mean. It wow. was quite stern. That was terrible. That was terrible. That's pretty good. It's like really refreshing. It's got like, there's all these tropical flavors in it. It's amazing. I like it. Mm. Nope. That's enough for me. She nope. doesn't like exotic stuff. I don't mind the coconut. I just don't like, I don't know. Okay. Let me see. It's like eating flowers. I like it. I don't like it. I give that a four. I give that a three. The raspberry dough whip, five. It's good. Is it oh. worth the cost? Hey, great to see you. Oh, my head hurts. Now here's here's the question. Is, is this worth what we paid for it? No. No. That's a hell no. It's not. It's not. It's all hype. Yeah, it's all hype. Come and try it out if you want to. Share it with people. Split it. That way you're not paying for everything. I think I had high hopes, that's why. But I did have high hopes. We were, we were dying to come here and try it out. But the <laughs> Oh and they get the gong. I, I get I did my own gong. That's right. But still that's not right. So the loaded, it was four. I give it a four hands down, it's really good because I like that kind of a flavor. It's really it's like uh, it's got that sweet and sour kind of taste, tartiness. The raspberry is very good. It's I love the raspberry with the pineapple dough whip. Uh, is it my favorite dough whip? No, I like Ooh, the original. You like the float. I like the float. Mm. Yeah, the original dough whip is my favorite, but this one's pretty good. I will give it a five, but my all-time favorite is just the regular dough whip. Right. But I'd have to say, you guys, come check it out for sure. Definitely. But don't have high expectations. Come, gonna in, have, like, come in thinking that you're going to get a snack. A yeah, a snack. Just a snack. A you're snack not gonna, to pass it's the not, it's not gonna blow your mind. Yeah. Nothing here will blow your mind. Yeah. Okay. I find birds to be very supportive of my jokes. Damn. They're bird. constantly egging me on. Oh. Or maybe the yolk is on me. Oh my god, that was terrible. Anyways, Rosita needs to go home and. But take the ambiance is really nice. Yeah. Definitely very cool. I feel like I'm in like a tropical location. We're in the like jungles, the, the jungles of uh, Brazil or the rainforest Wait, or something. It's you tropical. Know. 
Yeah, Brazil is tropical. It's in the equator. Bay. I feel like they're uh, doing that a little more towards like the Polynesian look. Okay. Okay, guys, that'll be a wrap for today's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification icon. Ring -a -ding -ding. To get notified when we post new videos. That's it. Big Chubbs, Little Chubbs, out.